people, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a full face of applications of my most used makeup products of 2023. In front of me, there is a full face of makeup, but a good mix of all price points, drugstore and a little bit more of a high-end products. These were my very main go-to products. In today's video, I'm gonna apply all these products and create a makeup look. Before we get started, I would love to welcome new visitors and viewers, subscribers to my channel. Hello, my name is Eve and I love all things beauty. Here on my channel, I share about beauty and lifestyle. I upload new videos every week. If you enjoyed this video, give this a big thumb up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you're not yet a subscriber. And now without further ado, let's dive in. Small disclaimer before we get started. I've already filmed my best and worst of Sephora or high-end products and also my drugstore favorites for the entire year. However, there are some products here in this video that did not make it to any of those videos for one reason or another. And I'm gonna get into the details when I start applying them to my face. Another thing to keep in mind when this makeup starts coming together that I live in hot and humid Florida. A majority of the year, here, it's warm here very warm. A lot of times I tend to lean towards a warmer type of looks. I know we're in December and a lot of you are in colder states when there's true winter, winds, snow, all the good stuff, but I'm here in Florida. So now let's get started. The primer, my favorite primer of the year, the product that unfortunately did not make to any of my favorites videos for one reason, because Sephora does not carry that brand. And also when I was talking about my drugstore products, obviously it's not a drugstore product. This is my most used and actually amazing discovery of the year, Studio Fix from MAC Mattifying Primer. I am a combination oily skin. I'm going to have a generous amount. I only apply this primer on my T-zone because it is a mattifying formula. I believe this primer is a considerably new launch. Correct me if I'm wrong. I discovered it this year. I purchased mine from Ulta and I have been loving this and talking about it in so many of my videos because this has an incredible, incredible formula. One of the best mattifying and somewhat poor smoothing primers I've tried in a long time. If you're oily skin type, this is well worth it because it definitely works for controlling your oils and also smooths your complexion a little bit. So the foundation that I'm going to be showing you today, the ones that I used so much in this year, also again, the product that did not make it to my best and worst of Sephora, simply because Sephora doesn't carry this product. It carries the brand, but very limited options. Smashbox always on foundation. You guys, what a gorgeous formula. I have to shake it really well. I'm at my playlist right now. There's no self tan. This is my lightest tan shade. So I will be bronzing my neck. You can apply this foundation with whatever you want. You can use your fingers, your brushes. By the way, I'm using a sponge that is from a launch of REM Beauty Foundation. Excellent sponge, excellent quality. It's a little bit expensive. I think it was like $17 on its own, but this sponge is excellent. I think I got mine actually for free as a gift with purchase when I purchased the REM foundation, but I've been using this sponge a lot. This foundation gives you a little bit of hydration, even in a very thin layer, how I'm applying it right now, it still gives you a really nice medium coverage. This is a buildable formula. What I love about this foundation is that it's a little bit hydrating, so it goes on skin very lovely. It spreads really nicely, but then it wears also really nicely. This is also the formula that I absolutely need to set with a powder. That's no questions asked about that, especially, you know, the things that I mentioned earlier, the environment that I live in and my skin type, uh, nine times out of 10, even 9.9 .9 times out of 10, I always set my complexion products with powder and a lot of times with a setting spray as well. Do you see how beautiful the finish is on my skin? It feels very, very weightless on skin. Gives me a very nice, healthy, medium coverage. The texture looks so beautiful, just melts, sinks into your skin, looks absolutely stunning. There is no fragrance on this foundation either. And this is a long wearing formula. Obviously I need to set it. This foundation definitely has been a very lovely addition to my foundation family this year. My most used concealer is going to be no one's surprise, High Glam Concealer from Natasha Denona. I have mine in a shade N3, which is my just very natural complexion. This concealer has a little bit of a hydrating feel to it. I like to spread it out, blend it with a brush so the sponge doesn't absorb it. There's so many wonderful things to my opinion about this concealer. It does feel hydrating. Also, when you blend it out, the coverage that it provides initially doesn't blend away. It doesn't sheer out and it is also long wearing and it doesn't fade throughout the day. So the way you apply it, that's how it's going to stay. With this concealer, I feel like I get the coverage that I need, something that I'm comfortable with from the first application. It's just the smallest amount that you need. That's all you need. There's absolutely no need to add more. Of course, it will depend on your personal features. Like if you have more things to cover, 
But for me, even with my blueness, a lot of times I struggle with insomnia. A lot of times I do have blueness under my eyes and I feel like this concealer does the job from the first application. So for my bronzer, the most used one is not the newly launched product. This was launched last year in 2022. And this is an LYS cream stick bronzer, no limits in the shade Motivate. I love this formula so much. I always use a brush to pick up the product from the stick. I usually do not apply directly on my face. This is quite um, soft formula. So I prefer applying it just with the brush. Do you see how pigmented this is? And I didn't even try to pick up a lot. This is the product that is somewhat hydrating. It does feel soft. It's really easy to blend. Brush that I'm using right now, it's also one of my favorites. This is from e.l.f. This came in a set. However, this brush is also available on its own. This is a putty bronzer brush. It has a very small frame, kind of slanted and somewhat flat. It blends the product really nicely and seamlessly. So in the blush category, definitely this blush had to make an appearance in today's video, Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin in the shade Bellini. This is the only shade that I have in this launch, but they launched wonderful shades and I definitely have my eyes on a few other shades. I'm very tempted to pick up more shades. My favorite brush using with my cream blushes is this one from Alter Ego number three. This is a part of a face set. This brush is pretty multitasking. You can do other complexion things with this if you wanted to. I am just going to tap here and it's actually enough for both of my cheeks. Look how stunning this blush is. This type of shade, like coral, peachy, orangey, is my favorite one for a warmer season, which is majority of the year where I live. I know my blush spread out a little bit too far, but I'll correct that, no worries. So this is definitely the shade that was used the most because the shade is so perfect. This blush formula also is somewhat self-setting, so it's very, very convenient for, especially for warmer climates, and it perfectly works with my combo oily skin, where I just need things to stay on my face without going anywhere without my permission. The bronzer that I really have been loving is in this face palette from Sephora collection. This is in the color selection Enchant. This face palette comes in two different shade variations. This is a lighter version. This face palette has all four products that I use and they all work for me. The formula of all these four products is fabulous. Highlighter is definitely more on your brighter side, but this is what I like. This is my aesthetics. I really love my glowy skin. So we have somewhat a satin like baked formula for the bronzer and then two different blushes. So my most used powder is this one from Ulta Beauty. So I do have two of these powders because they are in two different shades. One works for my around eyes, my T-zone for a little bit of a brightening effect and the other shade I would use for the rest of my face. So the one that I use around my eyes on my center of my face is in the shade Fair Warm. You can see the pan here. I usually just pick it up with a powder puff. This is a powder foundation formula. However, it works for me as a setting powder for my eyes, around my eyes. It gives me a very beautiful, smooth complexion. It sets my makeup. So as you can see, it toned down my cream blush here that was quite bright and no worries because I always go with my powder blush anyway. On top of that, all things will come together. Let me show you on my forehead. Look how beautifully it mattifies and smooths everything on my forehead. And the second shade that I have here in the same product is Fair Neutral. It's a little bit darker. As you can see, the pan is significant. This powder has been repurchased many, many times. This is just still a favorite, you guys. Uh, a favorite is a favorite. So I just wanted to clean out this area a tiny bit. And as you can see, it's not as brightening as, as the center of my face. I just wanted to lightly set this area and clean out. So for my blush, I'm still going with my palette and I'm just gonna go into this blush. Uh, the first shade right here is more of your like natural finished blush and it's absolutely beautiful. It does have a little bit more rosiness in it. The brush also is from Ulta Beauty. This is number 22 angled brush. I really love this. I've been using it left and right. This was their new launch for 2023 as well. Such a good quality brush. Again, it's a little bit larger. As you can see, uh, you have to just kind of be a little bit careful. But again, I have a lot of real estate here to work with. So it works for me. I'm gonna surprise you guys right now. And instead of highlighter, I'm gonna use this blush instead as a topper because it has such a beautiful sheen to it. It's considerably glowy formula. So I just want to show you what I've been loving the entire year because you know I love highlighters and you've already seen me use this highlighter in my other videos. I don't think I've used this blush topper enough on camera. 
and um, I'm gonna use it today. On my blush, I'm using my Sigma Setting Powder Brush F12. This is a beautiful uh, brush that could be multitasking. Do you guys see this beautiful glow? I really love the effect of this. I, I think it looks so beautiful, so fresh. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to show you the products, but I'm going to speed through the application process because all these products you've seen so many times. And uh, the first product, the one that's been used the most, it did make it into my best and worst of Sephora 2023. Obviously, this made it into the better half of the video. The Lawless Creamy Brow Wax in the shade light medium. This is a squeezy packaging and it has a really nice small applicator. It's nice and stiff and it applies the products in a very nice way. It's really easy to control. It gives you the laminated effect on your eyebrows, has a very nice hold. And however, it doesn't give you any tint once you apply it on your eyebrows. It's pretty much transparent. The only reason to my best guess that this product is tinted out of the packaging is because it is wax. If you apply straight up wax product on your eyebrows, it would leave white flakes and when the product is tinted, it doesn't do that. The second step of my brow routine and the product that I've not only used this year the most, but also this product has been repurchased already many times. This, this is pretty much a product of a holy grail status at this point. NYX uh, Brow Ink Pen, I had mine in the shade Taupe. The last touches that I do is with a pencil. This has been the best pencil. This did make it into my favorites of a drugstore of 2023. This is Express Brow from Maybelline. This is a new launch to the 2023. I'm just going to outline the bottom, the sparseness of my brows. This is about it. This is my brow routine right now. These three products are fabulous. As you can see, we're going from this to this in a very, very short period of time. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this eyebrow behind the camera and I'm gonna come back, we're gonna continue. So I would love to do my lips next. And for this category, I'm excited because I do have quite a few products to show you, but I'm only gonna be applying one of each product on my lips. However, I am gonna do honorable mention because there was definitely a tie. If you guys have seen my recent lipstick collection declutter, I did mention there, you know that I have quite a stash of lip products because I just love my lip products. I do have a rotation of lip products. I switch my lipsticks pretty much every single day. I love to come up with different combination of things and mix up the glosses, the lipsticks, the stains. So this really pretty bunch right here, the products that I probably use the most out of all the products that I still use a lot throughout the year. But the first one and the one that I'm not gonna be applying on my lips today is the pencil from Rare Beauty. This is in a shade I'm talented and this product definitely made it into my my top favorite products of um, high end. This is what it looks like. This is a shade. This is all I have left. This is a shade that is universal for my skin. I love that it is a retractable uh, lip liner. It goes up and down. You don't need to sharpen it. There is a tiny sharpener in the end of the pencil if you needed it. I personally never used it. I never came down to that. I never needed to sharpen it. I think it works by itself the way it is very perfectly. And uh, the shade is universal for me, for my complexion. This lip liner lives in my purse. That's why there's a teeny tiny thing left on it. No matter what I have on my lips going on already, this goes with everything. This is my perfect universal shade that I absolutely love. The one that I'm gonna be applying on my lips today is this one from Too Faced. I know nobody talks about Too Faced anymore, but I happen to pick this lip liner up this year. And this is Lady Bold in a shade Badass. The packaging is super cute. It has a teeny tiny heart at the end, absolutely adorable. The tiny heart is also a button. So this is one of those pencils that you have to click for the pencil to come out. This is such a gorgeous, shade that's perfect for like warmer weather and this is a beautiful creamy pigmented formula that doesn't tug on skin and it is super long wearing so the lipstick that i am going to be using is again by too faced and this is called coco bold first of all it smells like coco i absolutely love and the shade that i picked up is buttercream this is my perfect nude lipstick that has a little bit of the peachiness in it. This is my favorite shade out of all the neutral shades if I have to pick one to keep. I do have two lip glosses to show you. One of the lip glosses I did mention in my top favorites video already. This is the one in collaboration from Glam Light and Hershey's. This is cookies and cream portion of the launch. And this is an absolute stunning lip gloss. Look how beautiful and shiny it is. It definitely goes with this 
trio if I put them together. No wonder I use uh, these products so often. They kind of all blend together really nicely. The one that I'm going to apply on my face is literally the product that took me by surprise. This shade is everything to me and the formula is personally I love. I know it's not for everybody, but this is a lip injection from Too Faced. This is a lip gloss in the shade on Blast. It is a tingling formula. It's not super tingling. It's not, it's not the most tingling formula that I've tried. However, I am also the person who tolerates tingling formula. So just keep that in mind. If you see this shade next to Glimlight, you will see that this one is a little bit more on that warmer, a little bit more orangey neutral. This one's definitely more like coral, peachy. This lip trio is the combination of color that's my perfection. This gloss makes my lips bigger, juicier, younger, all the good stuff, everything that I want the lip gloss to do. So now we're getting into the very exciting portion of this video where I'm gonna create an eye makeup look. So here I am with an eyeshadow look and this is something that is pretty much my go-to in any warm season. I really love a little bit of warmness and a little bit of beautiful, very reflective, glossy lid. The two palettes that I used for this look no one's surprised, the Yaka from Natasha Denona and the Ultimate Paradise Shock from NYX Cosmetics. Both of these palettes were launched this year. On this side, I'm gonna show you how I created this look. I'm gonna speed through this process and I'm gonna come back to chat a little bit more. finished look and I did a final touches with my Nabla Cupid Arrow number two in the shade brown. This product on its own was one of the best discoveries of 2023 that I am going to be probably talking about if not in every single one of my videos but maybe in every other one. So I put this in my waterline. Well, this is a beautiful gel formula that you barely need to put pressure on to get that full pigment. Such an exceptional top-notch formula. And my mascara today and a lot of other days is Superhero from It Cosmetics. As per usual in my videos, I always show you what I used and these are the shades that I used. The top three shades are from Natasha Denona. This is what's on my lid, this beautiful reflective. Do you see how glossy this formula is? Absolutely stunning. And these four shades are from Ultimate Paradise Shock. This is the shade that's in my inner corner that as you can see, it still brings a little bit of luminosity to my inner corner. You can apply this in your brow bone. So this shade is absolutely beautiful. I really love it all over the lid or in a transition. It's just such a stunning shade. But I had a little bit more of a cooler tone in Natasha Denona Yaka palette. Nyx one gives me the brown that's a little bit more, more neutral, slightly bit warm. So between these two palettes, you understand why I was loving them so much. I generally tend to enjoy warm tone palettes. This is just naturally my comfort zone. Plus given the environment that I live in, it just gives me so many more reasons to enjoy my warm eyeshadow palettes. All right guys, this is the finished look with most used products for me in 2023. I love all these products. They're just such a good quality. It's just always such a pleasure to reach for them. It gives you this pleasant experience, almost like therapeutic experience. I am gonna keep this makeup look. I'm gonna enjoy it till the end of the day in the middle of December wearing my warm tone neutrals. I hope you're having a wonderful day, wonderful December, a wonderful season with your loved ones. If you enjoyed this video, give this a big thumb up and I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you're not yet a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today and I will see you in my next videos. Bye.